Hey everyone, this is a quad that um, I absolutely had to make a video of and share. I don't really record even 90% of what I do, but this is something that's just so insane that I'm sure a lot of people will want to see it. What it is, is one of the test rigs that we use to test uh, new APD firmware and just various changes to tuning and stuff like that in a torture test environment. These motors are 4500 kV, 225s. Obviously, these have been rewound by Brother Hobby. I got a, a small batch done just for some testing and experimentation. If you don't believe that they are that kV, just have a look in at the winds here and count them and go and look at a winding calculator, and that's going to tell you that it's a 4500 kV motor. It's the 225 returner, one of the older ones. What I'm going to be uh, running it with uh, is these amazing new packs from my sponsor Hobby King. I just want to say a massive thank you to them for giving these to me. It's a 6S1000. Uh, I've um, charged it to, it was meant to be 4.22, but whatever. Um, that's my charger. Not you're doing it properly, but it's, you know, fully charged 6S1000. Uh, thousand cc, uh, thousand uh, milliamp hours. Um, the ESCs are the, as you can see there, the APD 40F3s. Um, the reason why we use these for testing uh, firmware changes and stuff is that, uh, you know, obviously it costs less if we destroy it and it allows us to be quite nimble with the testing. Um, this is a rig that we've used to test APD firmware quite extensively and it's very effective. I mean, these motors really bring out the problems and, um, you know, in a way that a regular size motor won't. These are, uh, obviously APC props. Uh, I've actually broken, so, mind you, sorry, this is an inconsistent set. I've got 4.1 by 4.1 on the front. And I've got 475 by 475 on the back. You can, you can happily run these. I have actually run this on 5 inch, with full 5 inch props, uh, but only on 4S. Yeah. But I just wanted to show everyone this because, you know, it's, it really is insane that this flies. I can't believe it myself. Um, the flight controller there, you can see I've cut the sides off a cocoon and I've just got it jelly mounted in there. You can see it's not level, but Obviously that doesn't matter at all. I've got an XSR and this is for plugging in the FPV stuff if and when I can be bothered doing it, which I have a couple of times on this rig. Um, but with different sort of configurations. So I'm just gonna wire this battery. Now, I can feel that it's actually starting to rain a little bit. Just gonna take a bit of a gamble here. Um, should be okay, only a few little drops. You will notice that I've got two caps per ESC on this quad. It's been um, very prone to glitching. The higher um, the higher we go in terms of the loading and KV and all this stuff, that uh, you get massive. EMF spikes coming back. Um, so as you can see, I've put two on there. I've also extended the blobs up so that hopefully it'll carry a bit more current uh, and not stress out the cap legs too much. I've got that on all of them. This frame is just a Frankenstein prototype. For Zero. We use it for a million different things. Um, I'm feeling quite a few raindrops, so I might as well get this over and done with. Nice up. Obviously, yeah, running pro shot. Engines enabled are minimum throttle on. <laughs> so that was a gyro spike wigging it out. I mean, the flight control is running straight off the battery.
bring that back. So you can see every time we go full throttle, it wigs out like crazy. That's because of these spikes go straight into the gyro. But as you can see, it works. It totally works. It's quite controlled, unbelievably. Um, obviously, these are excellent props. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Lost it that time. So yeah, every time it spikes on full throttle, it's terrible, of course. But, um, but you can see that that flies on 6S. It's all a bit wet now, so I'm gonna unplug it. Well, there you go, guys. Uh, 4500 kV with a variable rate. Shut up. 6S 1000 milliamp hour battery. Uh, again, the crash is from the flight controller. 15, gets these spikes on full throttle that go straight in, like flood the whole system and wig out the gyro. So, it's not really much to be worried about. It doesn't happen on normal setups at all it's as you get bigger and bigger and bigger in terms of the back emf that's the kind of thing that happens so anyway yeah there you have it success with uh, 4500 kv working